Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on African Tech Gurus. This is your number one channel where we actually learn technology and coding by actually learning how to do the code and understanding the concepts behind it. So today we are going to do the quiz for the pointers and arrays and the first question that we have is the process of getting the value that is stored in the memory location pointed to by a pointer is called what it is called the referencing that is the referencing that is the process where you get whatever value has been stored in the particular memory location that is now being pointed to by a pointer it might sound complex but don't worry it will sink in as we continue the very first one is pointing and pointing is just the aspect of um, using the address of a particular data type to actually get to know what is located in that memory address. So that is pointing. It comes from the definition of what a pointer is. The next one, which is accessing. Accessing is mainly a term used when it comes to security. And this will mean or will be used in the context of allowing a particular user or a group of users the access or the privilege to actually use or access data in the manner in which they can access the data and what they can actually do with it. The last one, which is casting. Casting is is um is simply the process of converting one data type into another data type. So that is really simple. So in this question, the answer is the referencing. The other question that they have is what is the size of a pointer to an integer? So the size of a pointer is always standard. No matter what it is pointing to, the size of a pointer is always 8 bits. The other thing they have is what is the size of a pointer to a character. The pointer size will not change. What will change is the type of data pointed to the address. I hope you got that one. So what will change is the data that has been stored in that specific address that the pointer is pointing to. So a pointer will always have eight bits, no matter what um, type of value has been stored in the address that the pointer is pointing to. So the next question is uh, how we can access um, the address of a variable called var of type in. So if you remember, we're going to use the and sign or the um, ampersand sign, which in this case, when in terms of pointers, it is the address of unary operator. So what is going to happen here is we want to get the address of var, a variable called var of type int. So we're going to use the and to actually get the address of var. So what we want to get is this variable called var, what is its address? And how we're going to do that is use and percent and var. The next question that they have for us here is what is the value of n after the following code of, uh, after it's been executed? So here we are initializing an integer called n to be 98. And the next thing is we are getting that address, the address of n and storing it in a pointer called p. So at the end of the uh, uh, next, sorry, what we're doing is um, here, they are storing 402 in the pointer, which is P. So what they're asking is, what is the value of N after this has been executed? So remember that here they have not changed the value of N. As you can see, this doesn't change the value of N. It does not at all. But at the end of the day, what will happen here is um, p which is the address the pointer pointing to the address of um, n initially which is 98 will now be converted and will point to uh, 402 so n will not be touched in any way so n will still retain its value of 98 the next thing is is it possible to declare a pointer to a pointer yes that is very possible and that is a process um, or concept that uh, is in the referencing. The next question is, if we declare the following variable, this is it, we are creating an array 
of um, five elements and the elements will be integers what is the equivalent of typing array 2 so um, the equivalent of this will be whatever uh, the address of array the array itself and then add two spaces after that i hope you got that one right because here we what we want to get is we want to get the second um sorry the third the third element because you're going to start at zero and then one and then two so our answer will be this one over here the next question is here we are declaring a variable this is the variable we're declaring and they're asking what is the size of the variable a r r which here as you can see it's going to have five elements and these elements will be integer so remember that an integer will take in um will take four bytes of spaces but in this case we have five integers so at the end of the day the size of the memory of the variable a a r a r r will be the five elements times four memory locations which are the four bytes that each um each integer is going to take up so we'll have a total of 20 bytes the next question that we have is what happens when one tries to access an illegal memory location so um in short what they're asking us here is what is going to happen when an operating system or a software um attempts to access restricted memory so what, that's what they are asking for when they see illegal memory so what is going to happen is um the term for that is segmentation fault because what happens during segmentation fault is an error that will occur or a fault that will occur when your program is trying to access memory that it cannot access so that is that for that question the other ones are not quite valid solutions so the solution for this is segmentation fault the next question that they're asking is what is the value of n after the following code is executed the value of n so remember here we are initializing an integer n to be 98 and then we are also initializing pointer p to contain the address of integer n so at the end of the day the value of n will not be changed and it will still remain to be 98 question 10 is what is the value of n remember the same same thing is happening here the only thing that is happening here is after this is um run eventually the pointer uh, will be incremented by whatever increment um, steps have been declared before so this is a snippet of maybe a larger piece of code that can be used so what remains as well here n retains its value of 98 now for the next question is what is the identifier to print an address with printf so that is um percentage p which is the identifier to print um, an address so p is point is um representing pointer so this will be the address of because a pointer will contain the address of a specific variable lastly we have what is the value of n after the following code has been executed and what happens is we initialize n to be 98 and we initialize pointer p to contain the address of integer n and after that what is happening is we want the pointer p we have the asterisk in this one the other one did not have the asterisk so what is happening here is let 402 be placed in whatever address pointer p is pointing to and remember pointer p is pointing to where the variable n has been declared and initialized to 98 so now what it's saying is instead of it having 98 let it have 402 so at the end of the day after this code has been executed the value of n will be 402 so that marks the end of the quiz for today if you do have any questions please feel free to comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe because it supports the channel and it also encourages us to do more of this thank you so much and happy coding